who are you? Caitlin Alessi. I am a trainer in the BeFit Club. So this semester I um, took a test to become a personal trainer and I have one trainee now that I try to work out with a couple times a week. We usually try to work out three days a week at 5 p.m. My name is Mike Valentino. I am uh, a trainee at the BeFit Club. It's actually my first semester here at SUNY Oneonta and I really wanted to get into a more active lifestyle and I never really knew much about gyms or weightlifting so I joined the club hoping to get a trainer that would let me you know learn more about it and get to experience it as best I could. How often do you work out? Um, I'd say about once a week. What kind of problems do you face when you go into the gym and you find it's very packed? The machines are usually all used up and there's also no space to do workouts for your abdominals. I know a lot of us try to do some core stuff with our trainees and it's hard to fit it in the gym so then we end up having to go into the hallway or something like that. A lot of times where I'm going to tell him, okay, we're going to do bicep curls on this machine and then it'll be taken. So we'll have to alter our workout um, based on who's in the gym and who's using what at that time. A lot of machines, there's only one of that type of machine, so it makes it kind of difficult when it's taken and it's being used for a while, then you have to figure out something else to do. Do other trainers within the BeFit Club express similar thoughts towards these fitness centers? They do, from what I can tell. Um, we have our bi-weekly meetings and we usually try to talk about how to use the facilities better based on the space that we have. I noticed even before I joined the BeFit Club at the alumni gym, there is not a lot of room. I went in there my first time and it was cramped. There was people everywhere. There is so little space to walk. I was actually dodging dumbbells and like dodging the weights of a machine because they're all tilted at these angles to try and squeeze them in. It's just a mess. I understand how certain machines and certain accessories were chosen to give us as much as possible with the little space. However, there are machines and cardio equipment within Chase Gym that I have not seen touch in two years. Usually I end homework around 10, 11 o'clock, which is when I would want to go to the gym, but the gym is about to close, so I'm not able to go. Weekends are hard because the Chase Gym, which is the gym that we like to go to, is closed after 2 p.m. It's only open from 9 to 2, I believe. And that makes it hard because on the weekend, neither one of us wants to wake up and go to the gym at 9 or 10 or 11 in the morning. Chase Gym should extend their hours on the weekends because it's hard for kids to get themselves together that early in the morning, whereas a lot of kids like to go at night after they've completed their days. Chase Gym is closed from noon, 12 o'clock, to 1 p.m. every single day for faculty hours. And if you go there, look in the window, you see there's three or four faculty members in the gym running on treadmills. Meanwhile, all the weights, all the benches, all the machines are just empty. There is no reason why a few faculty members can't be in the gym at the same time as students. If you have the gym closed from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and then from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock is your free time to get in there. However, at 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, there's a class taught within that gym. So again, it's closed. So that leaves you with less than one hour to get into the gym before it opens back up again at 3 o'clock. Or even a little later on the weekends would really help. It can't be that hard because a gym overall is pretty self-sufficient. You can get a solid workout in, in an hour. However, the lack of space, the lack of equipment here, it doesn't allow you to do that. Do you think it'd be hard to have someone sit there 24 hours? I don't think it would be that hard because that's similar to night hosting. When you're night hosting, you're sitting there from the hours of, I think, 11 to 4 in the morning, which are pretty extensive, and that's... If it's a 24-hour gym, that's right around the same hours. The gym is open for over 100 hours throughout the week, which should provide us with an ample amount of time to work out. If we don't have class, if we're not sleeping, if we're not eating, if we're not busy doing whatever other projects we have assigned, if we're not working our job, 
100 hours simply isn't enough. And when you, when you take all those factors and you also factor in the fact that it's closed every day for one faculty hours and two classes that are taught inside of the gym, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. There should be absolutely no reason why we should be stressed about getting to the gym because of a lack of, 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 of hours of operation. A lot of people take pride in their health and their, you know, their well-being. But it's hard when I want to work out and I can't. Say a Friday or Saturday night, if I decide I'm going to stay in, uh, cook myself dinner and work out and then go to bed, that would be great. And then I decide to just, you know, go out, go to a party, whatever, and then I severely regret it in the morning. And that doesn't help because now it's Saturday morning, I have a hangover and I have literally three hours to feel better to get to the gym before it closes at 2 p.m. That doesn't help me at all.